This one is language of the unheard, and it also opens with one quotation. We have to ask ourselves these questions, however unpalatable. Have we been ignoring an injustice or a humanitarian struggle somewhere in the world? What if, actually, engagement on poverty and injustice is exactly what the terrorists wanted us to do? What happens if that bomb went off because we didn't have any thoughts and things in place to allow dialogue? Jason McHugh. War, armed fighting as a science, profession, activity, or art. War, a contest carried on by force of arms. How many relationships meet these criteria? With how many family members, friends, lovers, do we consider it our professions to prove our rank in contest armed with jibes and vitriol? How many cultures, social groups, species are marginalized with increasingly nuanced science art? In these contests, what is the rubric for victory? Does incarcerating the greatest national percentage of our population in global history mean that we and our states united have won the war on crime? Drugs, women, people of color, terror, when do we win the war on nature? Or do we think we are making peace? Nation building, land developing, terraforming, from our planet's indigenous and aboriginal natural residents, kingdoms, and earthlings, we use resource seizures, martial controls, systemic and systematic degradations, denigrations. What else do we call that but occupation? There is reason it is called the agricultural revolution, and we are still inciting rebellion. Ask the Native Americans, the Bush people, the Aborigines, ask the Batak, the Sentinelese, the Piraha, ask the people of Serayaku, ask the American Indian Movement, Survival International, the National Indian Foundation, First Peoples Worldwide, ask Aaron Huey if you need to ask a pale-skinned male, ask yourself why you need to ask a pale-skinned male. Do we think we are making peace? We incite them to join our revolution, our war, and that incites them to war against us. Our war is on Earth. Do we not see it? We are the ones we write horror science about. We abduct individuals from their homes, subject them to experiments, to learn both how to treat ourselves at their expense and to better exploit them, take their resources, entire species, entire nations. We are conquering Earth. When will we be done? Are we so sure we will come out victor? If so, what happens to the conquered? Would you do that to your kin? Alienated families are sustainable. Solitary confinement is sustainable. Mild torture is sustainable. Anger, fear, sadness, hatred are sustainable. If someone asks us to describe the relationship we have with our loved ones, do we tell them it is sustainable? What about regenerative? What about inspiring? What about rewarding, enriching, life-fulfilling, nurturing, nourishing, heart-swelling, a mutual source of infinite peace? What about our relationship with Earth? How long will we war with our mother before we cry uncle? What will we lose if we do? Pride, face, self-importance, ego? What will we lose if we do not? The lives of our poor and then our not-so-poor and a lot of fulfillment on the way? What are we trying to win? How many will die from natural disasters before we consider them casualties of our war? How many of nature's riots will we subject ourselves to before we consider them rebellions, uprisings, battles, terrorist attacks? How long will nature, enemy combatant, scream into our abyss rock hearts before we agree to listen, negotiate? How long will we ignore her cries for help before we realize she is us? and we terrorize ourselves. <laughs>